Hey guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. And here's Bumble. She is going to help me open this Planny Thing subscription box for August. I'm really excited for this. They have some really cute stuff and I'm going to be using it, it to decorate my skinny classic planner this week. And that is the one I use for fitness. So if you'd like to see that, stick around. Okay, first things first, before we begin, I have some shout outs for my new Patreon members. Trudy Crow, Miranda Day, KK, sorry, I don't know your name, that's all that was there. Sarah Preston, Stephanie Foley, and Altravise Marshall. I don't know if I said your name right, but anyway, thanks so much for joining my Patreon. You guys rock. I appreciate it when I see new patrons join. It makes me happy and I always look forward to getting to know people on a more personal level. So thank you so much. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this unboxing. I guess you can call it an unboxing, but it's not in a box, <coughs> unbagging. If you're not familiar with Planny Thing, it's a subscription box and you can get one month or you can get, you can keep getting them, whatever you want. But I'm gonna show you what's inside here because it's really cute. It's an autumn theme. First, we have this beautiful, whoops. We have this really beautiful pouch. I love pencil and pen pouches, not just because they're cute and they're functional, but also because I can use them for Instagram posts like as little props. I think they're so, so cute. And I use pouches for like everything, including when I travel, like for little makeup items and stuff. So not just for pens and pencils. I don't know why Bumble's whining in the background. So we have a stamp, a leaf stamp. It's so cute. I am so bad at stamping, but maybe I'll, I'll try this out. What's the matter, Bumble? Okay, so we have some washi tape. This is two two rolls of skinny washi and one has pumpkins on it. How cute is that? Can you see it? And the other has stripes and florals. Really, really pretty, pretty color palette in this one. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, so this is the little card that says happy autumn, planty thing. I should have taken this out first. These florals are so, so pretty. I could even cut these out and use them. And it tells you everything that's inside. Okay, stickers, I'm gonna show you those last. And we have this really cute, or I love these kind of pens. They're also really fun to use in um, in like Instagram pro photos as props, especially fall ones, Halloween. I mean, this is so cute. These little glittery pens. I have like a few of those and I really like them. Okay, so we have more washi tape. This one is a thicker washi and it is pumpkin. And I love, it's like a like a peachy pink. It's like really soft and pretty. So you can see that. And then we have two more skinny washies. This one is a pumpkin, but it's more pumpkin than this one. This one was like the kind of the same as this with fl florals a little bit. No, there's no florals, I guess leaves but this is more pumpkins. This is like a line of pumpkins. And then we have um, like a blue skinny washi with these fall leaves on it. Super, super pretty. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so we have little sticky notes. These are so mini and cute. We love mini things. And then we have some scrapbook paper. Let's see what's here. And you guys know I like making scrapbook paper spreads, so I might want use one of these today. So these are double-sided, look at this. The colors are just so pretty. This one, you guys, I love that. I love the contrast of the blue against the orange, it's so cute. I'll definitely be using that. Pumpkins. Look how cute these are. Okay, so let me just show you the stickers. And I'll put a link to this in the description box so you can go check out Planny Thing if you'd like. 
Okay, so we have some like decorative box stickers here. And here's some lettering, pumpkin carving, happy Thanksgiving, fall in love, bacon apple pie, blah, blah, blah. Really, really cute autumn activities and some circles in those kind of patterns. And these are clear stickers. Those were all paper, these are clear. Look at that owl, how cute is he? And acorns and stuff. And then these pretty florals. I am in love with these and look at these, they're bigger. So, so pretty. I think I'm gonna be using some of those today. So, I'm really excited about this box. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and I didn't really look through this stuff yet, so I'm like thinking as I'm looking through it what I'm going to do. So let me pull out my Skinny Classic Planner, and we're just going to start. And I guess I'll just think through it with you guys. In case you're wondering, here is last week's spread. Look at all those <laughs> workouts I skipped. Not good, but today's Monday. I'm getting back on track, so we'll deal with that. All right. So obviously this middle part and this is all not gonna go with these stickers, like it's just not. So I'm gonna need to cover these up. So let me get some label paper and I'll just make strips like I did this time. You see how I cut strips out to just take off the middle part because it wasn't gonna match last week either. So I'm gonna get some of that and I will be back in a jiffy. Okay, as you can see, it's like a magic. Now it's a blank slate. I took off this rainbow. I also took off, there was like a little um, thing that said notes there, it was purple. So I whited that out. So now we have like a clean slate and I'm not gonna change any of this because I think these colors are gonna coordinate with what I have in mind. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use these beautiful floral clear stickers to decorate the outside. I considered doing the middle, but I kind of wanna do the outside. Um, for whatever reason. And so there's two pages of these. I think I'm gonna use one, like one big one with a box sticker. Let's do that first. Um, let me grab, I'm, I think I'm gonna do some gold and I know that's not my usual, but I feel like this, that gold is gonna match these florals and it's like fall-like and it just, I don't know, it just feels right to me. So I'm gonna grab this box sticker here and I'm gonna put this down here for any extra notes I have for like how my week went. Like I said, this is my fitness planner. So each day I'm gonna need a box for my workout. I track my Weight Watchers points and then like how I'm doing each day with it. But at the end of the week, maybe this is gonna be for like an overview of how everything went. So I'm gonna combine this with this one and I'm gonna probably have to white out part but part of this because I don't want the gold to show through. I mean, you can leave it like that, but I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna kind of go up there a little bit and cover that line. And then I think, I don't know how this is gonna look, but I'm gonna try it. We can always pull up the sticker if it's horrible. I'm just gonna cover this corner here like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And <clears throat> losing my voice. I think maybe put it straight like this. So I'm just gonna cover a little bit more. Let's see how that's gonna look. Okay, I'll trim off the excess. I think that's really pretty. These flowers, I just really like the colors in them. I just think they're they're really pretty colors together. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab this one because this is my favorite one. <laughs> and I'm just gonna start placing some down on the sides and I hope, hope I get this right. <laughs> uh, I think I'll do like a big one here. And since there's a big one here, I'm just gonna tr kind of try to like balance it out here. So let me put this here and, and since it is, since it's a clear sticker, it can go over the number there. That's okay with me. I'm gonna save this part. I always do that in case I wanna use it in another part of the spread. So let me put this over here. 
Oh, that looks so pretty already, doesn't it? And now, I guess maybe this one over on this side because I have this purple here. So I'm gonna grab this darker color. It's like a really, really pretty kind of like burgundy almost. And I'm gonna put that like right about here. I like taking flowers off the sides of the page. It's just, I don't know, there's something about it that makes me happy. Okay, save this little guy just in case. The orange one I'm gonna put on this side to sort of balance out this orange. Let's do that first and see what we've got. I can combine it with like some leaves, I don't know. Let's see, how about I just put this over there like that? Ooh, that's pretty. And then this one, this one's gonna go over here. I feel like I want to put some in the middle, but I'm not going to. And I think I might put um, like washi tape there. I don't know, but let's see. I want to do this like at a different angle than that one so that it's not the same. Okay, and I'm going to combine this one with a smaller one as well just to kind of pull it together and this peach one maybe. Ooh, pretty. Let's see what other stickers we have. I am gonna use some of these box stickers, I think, maybe like one or two, but I could also combine some of this stuff in there. I don't know. Or I can keep going with the flowers. Let's see, because the rest are smaller, so. But if I combine them in like a cluster, I think it'll be good. I'm trying to figure out like color-wise how to balance this. I guess I can just put it like this. Put it up by the 2020. Take that off the page a little bit. And there's no rules when it comes to doing florals. You just kind of place them down. They're gonna look good really, no matter what you do. You don't have to like balance florals as much as you think. Just kind of wing it and it's gonna look pretty. These colors are just so fall. Now it's got me like excited for fall. <laughs> Not wait. I can't wait to wear it. I mean, I love summer and that's like my favorite, but I'm I'm actually, I'm gonna cluster this one with that. I'm actually getting like excited to, you know, wear sweatshirts and sweaters and stuff, you know? I think it's gonna be, it's always nice that first fall snap where you can wear your jeans and sweaters. I don't know. I always loved fall. I'm gonna, do I want this here? I feel like that's a lot of purple here, but I guess so. Um, let's try it like down here off the corner. And then I'm gonna grab maybe like a more brownish or orange, maybe, maybe both. Do another cluster like up here because there seems to be smaller ones over here and bigger ones here. I don't know. That's pretty. Okay, let's trim off the sides of these and see where we're at here. Did I get all those? No. How pretty this is. It's very soft. I think this this color is okay, the August up there, but I almost want to cover it and use like something more like fancy. All right, let me think about that. All right, let me grab some gold boxes. And like I said, I think I'm going to use a couple of these or do I really want to at this point? That's 
really pretty, but I'm wondering if it's gonna be too much. I was also thinking about using some washi tape. Let's grab that as well. I was thinking about using this one to kind of contrast it. And I was going to do this, but I don't know now. Let's see what this would look like. Is that like too much? I don't like how it covers the gold there, but I can always like go underneath it. I'm not sure if I like it or not. Or I could go across. No, I really think, I don't know. This was my original plan, like the, when I was thinking about it. I was like, I kind of wanted to do, let's just put it down and we'll see. We'll put it down on both sides and just see how it looks. I just thought it would kind of be cool to have a stripe like this, but I don't know if it's gonna make it too busy. I think if I put this down, I think I'm not gonna use those other decorative boxes because as you know, like if you watch my channel, I do like a more clean look. So if I put down too many stickers that have little patterns, my brain gets like scrambled, you know? I don't know if you know what I mean, but it's like hard to think when everything's scrambled up. <laughs> Makes no sense. Uh, do I want to take it all the way to the top or cut it to there? I think cut it. Let me get my exacto. I think that's cute. I could end it here at the box, but I'm gonna take it down to the bottom here. Or do I take it all the way to the bottom? I think I'm gonna cut it here too. Whoops. I don't know how I feel about that, but let's do the other side. So I don't know about you, but I love like planner subscription boxes. I don't get that many. Like, and I don't get any on a regular basis, but when I do get one in the mail, it's like exciting, <laughs> you know? I would love to do a Simply Gilded. Do you guys want me to do a Simply Gilded? I haven't never gotten one of their boxes. Um, I didn't really do that right, but I'm gonna take it down a little. I've never gotten one of their boxes, but I think some of their stuff is really pretty. I'm not a big fan of the bows on the washi tape but they also have some really pretty neutral washi tape that I've seen so I think they have some pretty things um I'm not sure how I feel about this I almost think it might make more sense to do like the whole thing stripe like up to the top and the bottom let's try that and if you have any other planner subscription box suggestions um let me know that in the comments too because i can certainly like do something if you are interested in it and want to see it i always want like to do things that you guys want to see i know that's a little funky there but we'll live with that because yeah my goal is to like make you happy so if there's something I'm not doing or something that you want to see, just let me know. I can try to make it happen. It might not happen right away, but I can try to make it happen eventually. I probably should have just recovered this whole thing rather than trying to match it up. I know you can kind of see like the overlap there, but I might just leave it. I love making fall spreads. This is the first fall spread I've made, and I don't usually make a spread um, this early in fall because it's not really fall yet. <laughs> Obviously, it's still summer, at least here in the United States. So I don't usually do a fall spread until it's actually turned to fall, like officially. But um, this time I wanted to because I, was do I got the planning thing box, but I don't usually do that. Okay, let me put some boxes in and then I'll decide how I feel about those stripes. I might take them off. Let me put a box in for my workout each day and hopefully this week I will um, get them all in. 
hopefully, hopefully no skipping this week because I feel better when I work out on a consistent basis. I just do. It makes me feel better physically and better mentally. If you're someone who struggles with depression, um, I know that exercise is not a cure-all for everything, but I will tell you, oh, see, now I'm running into this issue. Maybe I'll do it like, hmm. I was trying to make them all even, but now I'm running into trouble here. Maybe I'll bring them down a little bit and do them all like in the middle. Um, if you're someone who struggles with depression, like I said, exercise is not a cure-all, but I will say in times of my life where I've been at my lowest, if I start working out, um, it, it, it changes things a little bit. And especially like right after the workout, because you get, um, a release of, I guess it's like serotonin or oxytocin. I don't know all of that stuff, <laughs> but it's chemicals in your brain, you know, that, that exercise brings out and it does change your mindset a little bit. And then like also consistent exercise brings on changes in your body, which also makes you feel better. So if you're struggling, I would suggest just starting, you know, a gentle exercise program, even if it's just <clears throat> yoga or something like that, it's going to make a difference and I'm losing my voice. Hang on, let me get some water. Okay, that's much better. <laughs> um, anyway, that's my PSA for the day. I I just think it's important. And your body will thank you as well. I know it's hard, though. I know it's hard to get started, especially. Okay, so let me look at this with fresh eyes here. I don't like this. <laughs> you probably guessed that I might take this off. I don't like it. It's too busy for my brain. It's just not making me feel great. Don't get me wrong, I love this washi tape. I think it's so pretty. And I will use it in another spread, but for this one, I just feel like the way I put it down here, it's just not pleasing me. So, but maybe I could use it though. So let's take it off and just see if I can use it like in another part of this spread. I don't know. I don't know how. See, like it makes me feel better when it's gone. <laughs> It's probably making you feel better as well. So that's good. I'm gonna leave it th at this because it's simple and it's pretty. And I think that I'm okay with simple and pretty today. And I don't think I'm gonna change the August 2020 up there because I think it looks fine. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of this spread. I think that this planty thing box is so pretty. So if you're interested, again, I'm going to put a link in the description box for you to try it out for yourself. Um, now that I'm looking at it, there's like a, I, I think I need a flower there. There's a glaring space there. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Because when Mary Ellen finishes a video, she doesn't ever really finish a video, right? I feel like. I'm always like, well, that was great. And then I'm like, but, <laughs> but sorry, but you know, now I have to start again. All right. Um, just like a little thing, a little bit. Let's see if that's better. Yeah, I think I like that better. Okay. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for doodle of the day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.